Kaga is a tool that's used to help with survey. Um, surveys, when people would go, well, first off, they'll hit the, the libraries or any uh, stores of knowledge looking for what they can about a, a language group or an area. And then they will go out into that language group to see if the data that they're in the libraries are still accurate because things change over time. They'll take a, a list of words and try to get a collection of words for the in that language that kind of go along with the, the word, like the word common words like fire, son, kitchen, cook, mother, father, those sorts of things. It's it called a word list. And there's a, a well-documented, well-formed list of words that we have that we use to collect data for down in Southeast Asia. So then you can take that data and uh, import it into a tool called COG. And uh, come on, I thought I brought it up. And here's COG. All right, so this is COG. Here's my list of words, and we've got several languages, and each of those at the top is, is like an Excel table. At the top are the columns, are the word, the English gloss, and then these are in phonetic form, the words in that particular language. So then COG can take all that data and compare it. Uh, you can compare, uh, this is a, a heat map, if you will. So the darker, the more red, the color, the more closely they related. So if you were to look, you see that this language here is really closely related to this language because a 93% cognate match. And 93% of the words are the same or at least sound the same anyway. And orange and yellow on down into green. And then you can analyze. This is an interesting tree. When I look at this map, it kind of reminds me like in the United States, we have our March Madness brackets. But as opposed, it's you know, going from outside in, which are the most closely related. And then I think the, the bars kind of signify where they are tied. So if you click out here at the tree, the top, you see that the blue ones, anything to the right of this are related. Um, and then if you click out here, these are all kind of related. And then you can, of course, you can see that down here, we have another set and these aren't really related to the other set until you get way out to the outside. Uh, there are different kinds of graphs. This is a hierarchical graph. There's a network graph. I can see where they, they meet. I, I, uh, you can see that the Northern Katong, Southern Katong are related as, as the name would imply then, but these are related. Um, and so you can see that's, so it's kind of, it provides you some information. If you have uploaded map information, this language set doesn't have map information provided. You can see where they are. Uh, go back to compare, you can do, so this is that heat map. I meant to click on variety pairs. You can compare one language to another and you can see like this language, this Alak compared to Bru Para, um, there's only a 20%, I'm rounding up, uh, match. Um, so, so this is COG. Um, it really is quite interesting. I've often wondered what would happen if you were to take all the languages in Southeast Asia and, and shove them in and, and see what would happen. Uh, and the, the, uh, the, the, the hierarchical graph, that'd be interesting. I, did, I just find that kind of stuff interesting. Um, so that is, um, that's COG, that's used for survey.